Hi guys, welcome back to Conquer Biology series. Today I am going to discuss with you a very interesting type of question and also going to give you techniques of uh, answering this type of question. Alright, so today I am going to discuss with you negative statement questions. Alright, if you are ready, come let's go. Okay, so uh, let's see what exactly I meant by negative statement question, right? So when you identify a question as such, as a negative statement question, that means there must be some negative words present in it, right? So I've highlighted a few words here that actually changes the direction of that question to become a negative statement question all right so let's look at uh, what are those right fails did not remove torn damaged poison unable disrupted and many more maybe uh, i missed some of them maybe you have uh, seen them all but then uh, yeah these are the words that brings a very negative connotation to that question Right? So this is how you need to identify whether a question is a negative statement question. All right? Okay guys, for further understanding, I've given you examples of statement with negative words. All right? So let's see what are they. Right? Oh, cell has been exposed to respiratory poison. The dorsal fin of a fish has been damaged. The food chain has been disrupted. Pancreas has been removed, anaphase did not occur properly, spindle fiber failed to form, and muscle tissues are torn. These are just some examples, alright? But uh, anyway, when this type of words, negative words are present there, that means this uh, statement has a very negative aura to it, alright? So the way of answering this type of uh, statement which is uh, which will become a question it's very different compared to the normal way of answering all right so that is what i'm going to discuss with you okay but so much negativity we don't need this in world anymore okay so here i have uh, given you a sample an example of a negative statement question followed by a uh, oops answer what I mean by oops answer is a wrong answer. Alright, so that is my study. If you've been following my Conquer Biology series all this while, um, what I do is usually I will give the question and I will uh, initially I will give you the wrong answer first. Why I do this is so that maybe you can uh, identify. Alright, if you've been doing the same mistake all this while. Okay, so uh, this is the high time for you. Uh, to mend your mistakes all right so let's see uh, the, one of the example questions all right okay a cell has been exposed to respiratory poison explain the effect to the transport of potassium ion into the cell all right so the oops answer is uh, potassium ion transported by active transport active transport needs energy all right factually it's a beautiful answer but then unfortunately technically it's wrong all right so that is one thing about value. Uh, it's not about always giving the correct facts. All right. Uh, if your technique is wrong, sometimes you do not satisfy the question. So when a question is not satisfied technically, all right, maybe factually it has all the facts, but when there's no technique there, then of course you are not entitled for marks. Right. Mm. Okay, let's look at the second example uh, today. All right, a patient, poor chap, had his uh, pancreas removed. So explain the effect of uh, pancreas removal uh, to his digestion. Okay, so let's look at the oops answer. All right, so pancreas produces lipase, trypsin, amylase. Lipase hydrolyzes fat. Trypsin hydrolyzes polypeptide. And amylase hydrolysis starch. Beautiful answer. Fortified with a lot of facts, but unfortunately, no marks here. Alright. So that, that is the catch. Alright. So if technically 
uh, you do not satisfy the need of the question then sorry you're not entitled for any marks okay so that is what i'm going to teach you today okay i'll make your life very very easy very very simple if only you follow my techniques all right okay so we are at the most awaited sec section of uh, our lesson the mantra all right so as you all know that every of my all my videos so far all the techniques i have presented you with the mantra which is very easy to follow and um, yeah of course you're going to get marks there right all right okay so drum rolls all right okay so the mantra for today is negative statement question must be answered by a negative statement too all right here positivity unfortunately doesn't work all right a negative statement question must be followed by a negative statement answer all right so let's see few uh, the, the previous questions all right with correct answers all right and see how you're going to get full mark for all of them right after we have learned about uh, the correct the mantra the technique of how to deal with a negative statement question so now it's high time for us to see what is the correct answer for that uh, particular negative statement question all right okay so uh, a cell was exposed to respiratory poison explain blah 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 okay so i have given you the bingo answers all right so bingo means correct so look at the answers which is going to give you full marks respiratory poison stops the function of mitochondria thus no energy is produced active transport stops transport of potassium ion disrupted so can you see for a negative statement question my answer the answer that i have given you here is has a very negative word to it too all right so this is how we deal with this type of question negativity is dealt with negativity not positivity okay we don't want the facts we want you to tell us what will happen what would happen if this is the situation all right which is unfortunately very negative all right so negative statement question must be followed by a negative statement answers okay now it's time to analyze what happened to the poor chap who had his pancreas removed what a sad way all right okay a patient has has his pancreas removed explain the effect of uh, pancreas removal to his digestion okay the bingo answer is all right so the pancreatic juice cannot be produced there is no lipase hydrolysis of lipid reduces or stops there is no amylase hydrolysis of starch reduces or stops there is no trypsin hydrolysis of peptide oh, sorry polypeptide reduces or stops so again negativity is dealt with negativity here that's it okay so we have come to the end of our session today remember the mantra for today is whenever you're dealing with a negative statement question make sure your answer is also with a negative statement all right positivity don't work here all right so this is one of the most important technique whenever you need to deal with a negative statement question okay if you follow this technique i'm sure that you will definitely will get full marks for that type of particular answer questions all right oh that's so much negativity for a day all right but uh, yeah that is how it is uh, meant to be all right okay so thank you so much for watching the video please like comment and uh, subscribe to my videos so your comment subscription and your likes will give me more motivation to produce more videos all right okay so till i see you the next time bye